And so, as the sun set on Ever After High, the students were getting fairest for the big dance. dance tonight. What? Why? Briar is planning it. And if I can get her in trouble with Headmaster Grimm, then there'll be a new opening in the royal ranks. You know what? I am done with you. What's ruffled your feathers? I, Sparrow Hood, the rockingest, handsomest guy in this school, can't find out where the dance is. No one will tell me because I'm friends with you. Well, someone around here must know something. You really think anyone's gonna tell you the truth? There's one person at this school who's cursed to. Appreciate your kind kudos, fair maiden. <laughs> hey guys, who's DJing tonight? We got the daughter of the Pied Piper, Melody Piper. <laughs> what up, Ever After? Ready for me to drop some True Hearts tunes? Yay! Then follow me. This next chapter day saw a 30% rise in our semi-magical creature attendance Psst. rates. Which, when you compare that to... Psst. Excuse me. Dr. Swan, I'm addressing the entire magical community on the mirror net at this very moment. I know, and I'm so sorry to disturb you, but there's something I just thought you had to know about. Which is? I hate to tell on my friends, but some students are having a secret True Hearts Day dance. Show me where. <sighs> So, 300 autographs later, my quill finally gives out. But there are a hundred more girls in Daring. line. Daring, Daring, uh, can we talk for a minute? Of course, yes. I wanted to thank you for that poem you left on my locker. Um, I never wrote you a poem. You didn't, but it says right here, D. Charming. <gasps> Dexter. Hi, Dex. <laughs> so, not exactly a happy True Hearts Day, huh? Why does my brother always get the girl? It's not fair. Maybe you should stop thinking so much about your brother and, um, concentrate on someone else? Uh, who? You! You spend so much time comparing yourself to Daring, you forget you're great, just the way you are. Really? Cross my heart. Thanks, Cupid. It was Dexter! <gasps> Can you believe it? And Dex, he's so sweet and cute. And I'm gonna tell him that I... <gasps> I'm too late. Where is this party? Not much further. Since True Hearts Day hasn't been celebrated in such a long time, I wanted to tell everyone what it's all about. Once upon a time, there grew a very special tree. The Heart Tree. And even if the winter was harsh and the other trees failed to bloom, the Heart Tree blossomed no 
no matter what. And so, our fairy tale ancestors gave the blossoms to each other on True Hearts Day to show that even though it's not always easy, true love will always find a way. And so, to encourage all of us to follow our true heart, to you. Can I... Hunter, when I listen to my true heart, it tells me that you're my Prince Charming. Aww. Uh, but how can you be a royal and date Hunter? I don't know. But if writing our own happily ever after means I can't be a royal, then call me Ashlyn Ella the Rebel. Yeah. <gasps> I'd like to give this to you, Hunter. If you'll have it. Of course. Oh, yeah. Apple! I'm so sorry. I just had to do what... Why are you giving this to me? I might be worried about you, and I might think you're doing the wrong thing, but I want you to know that we'll always be friends, no matter what. That's what's in my true heart. Thanks, Apple. You are the best. <laughs> I know. This is literally the best day ever. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Don't be a worry, Flurry. Let's party! <laughs> mine, 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 mine! Huh. Hey, Cupid. Have you seen Cedar? I can't find her anywhere. Oh, Cedar had something royally important to do tonight. There it is. Dudes, trying to practice here. Miss Swan, detention! What? Where are they? You totally got what you deserved, yeah! You told Cedar of the wrong spot, because you knew Duchess would try to get it out of her. <laughs> yep. Then she left me a note back in the dorm telling me the real party was here. Now that is a happy ending. Now I have to say, my true heart agrees. After the unfortunate events of Legacy Day, some students are questioning our lesser school legends. Maybe if a certain student used her mirror cast to prove the school legends to be true... Great idea! I'll prove those legends are just right. Hello, fellow fairy tales! With me today is Cedar Wood, and she's gonna help me prove one of those school legends is totally true! Troll tears make awesome shampoo! <gasps> Wait a splinter. Maybe we didn't use enough? We're going to make this just right. Blondie, stop it! <gasps> See? What did I tell you? Oh, oh. <laughs> We're here in the Charmatorium to prove another of the school legends. Giants are terrible dancers. Helping me out is Duchess Swan. And Tiny. And a one and a two. But we're supposed to be proving the legends are true. Giants can't dance. Uh, my eyes, I can't see. I'm okay. <laughs> the legend is proved. With the help of Sparrow Hood, we are going to prove playing just the right song will soothe a fearsome griffin into leaving its nest. True! Go! Fly away! <laughs> Find my demo on the mirror net! It's totally outlawed! <laughs> Oh. Headmaster, the show is going great! And I've got so many excellent ideas for more episodes. We can prove that unicorns are really violent. The beanstalks have the sharpest thorns. Oh. Welcome, fairy.
fairy tale friends to spring at Ever After High. Where following their true hearts is the only thing on students' minds. Royals with royals and rebels with rebels. Well, it may not be as straightforward as that. Look at Hunter and Ashley. don't always move in the same direction. Cupid and Dexter, charming. <gasps> Cupid and Dexy. <gasps> hey, Cupid. <gasps> Anyone sitting here? Yes. I mean, no. Should sit there. Thanks. Shh. Quiet in the library. The evil step librarians are so wicked. Yeah. Last week they made me recatalog the entire forbidden book section. <laughs> Shh. Well, look what I found. <gasps> the history of True Hearts Day. Thanks, Dex. You are such a sweet. Shh. And so. Each time a fairy tale is told. Headmaster! My dear, I am writing my speech. For... Love never waits. What are you going on about? True Hearts Day! Where? <clears throat> Did you find that? It tells all about this totally excellent holiday that encourages everyone to follow their true heart's desire. But it hasn't been celebrated in years. And <gasps> never will be again. That holiday is dangerous. But... Some students might see it as a sign to break from their destinies. Maybe True Hearts Day is... <clears throat> you are not to talk about this to anyone. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. I won't say a thing. True Hearts Day? I don't get it. <gasps> Charades! 48 words. A holiday that used to be celebrated in the fairy tale world that encourages us to follow our true heart's desire, but Headmaster Grimm doesn't want anyone to know about it, but you think we should celebrate it anyway and throw a secret underground true heart's day dance? Why didn't you just say that? Cuz, Headmaster Grimm told me not to say anything. Secret dance? What if Grimm catches us? He won't. Come on, it'll be happily ever awesome. I do throw the most excellent parties. Yay! We're having a secret True Hearts Day dance! Secret True Hearts Day dance! Secret True Hearts Day dance! Um, you might not want to shout that. You know, being a secret and all. They went this way. Oh. I'm finally gonna get some proof. Why do you even care? I care because it's not fair. Ashlyn is breaking the royal rules with her secret romance, but she still gets a happily ever after, and I don't. So you got a plan? I mean, it's not like we're just gonna find them in some romantic moment. Oh, hey, Duchess, Sparrow, we didn't see you. <laughs> What's going on? You two are totally busted! Ashlyn, Hunter, I think the real question is, what are you two doing here? Having a secret romantic rendezvous? We gotta find a better place to picnic. Please, 
You two can't tell anyone Hunter and I are secretly dating. Um, yeah. Wow. Well, I'm gonna. Ash, this is gonna knock you down the royal rankings. But don't worry. I'll take your place. And your happily ever after. <laughs> Bummer, Princess to be. Ah! Stop that! Now, my love tale friends, this is the part of the mirror cast where I try to solve your romantic problems. So, fragile in Fairyland, what's in your heart? Um. Well, uh, I. Dex. I kind of. Uh, no, I, I do. I do have a crush on this girl named Raven. Raven Queen. You have a crush on Raven Queen? <gasps> I mean, Rachel! Rachel, yeah, I like a girl named Rachel. Okay, Rachel. So you like her. What's the problem? Well, whenever I'm around her, I get really uh, tongue-tied. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look, how about putting down your feelings on parchment? That is a great idea! I'll write her a love poem. <gasps> oh, oh, uh, <clears throat> thanks, Cupid, you're the best. Bye. No problem. Oh, hell. True Hearts Day. Aren't you just totally excited? It used to be such an important holiday on the royal calendar. Huh? Love finding our predetermined princes. I'm um, sure, yeah. Oh, sweetie, what's wrong? You can tell me. I mean, we are friends forever after. I'm not sure you'd understand. What? Is it boy trouble? Oh, wow! Hey, I am thirsty! Um, I'm gonna go get us a couple Hocus Lattes! Double foam, extra apple caramel, right? Ah, uh, you work here! I want these in a size 74. Oh. And so, Dexter finished his True Hearts poem for Raven. Now, he just had to wait for a response. What's this? It's a love poem. Oh, a secret note! Is there anything more hat-tastic? But who's it from? D. Charming. <laughs> Ladies? Daring? I had no idea he felt this way. Sup, brother? Oh, Gord. Love is very... Complicated. Yes, complicated. Uh, the path of love is never straight. Well, it was until people started choosing their own stories. Uh, you must admit, this is much more interesting. Hmm. Well, let's see what happens. Hey, Ashlyn. What's up with the urgent text message? Is every... Shh! <gasps> Sorry, Cedar. But I need help. We need help. Uh, Hunter? Shh, I'm not Hunter. I'm a uh, Gunter. Gunter Gunsman. Is this about your guy's secret relationship? Shh, yes, it is about that. Duchess knows, and she's gonna spell it out for the whole school. We don't know what to do. Well, I always find it's best to tell the truth. You're right, Cedar. Gunter Gunsman. I got a triple mint hocus latte for Gunter Gunsman. <laughs> Over here. I got party supplies. C.A. Cupid. Oh, I'm Cupid. That's me. Just sign here. Party what? supplies? Uh, yes. Party supplies, um, for our play. And what exactly is the name of this play? It's a... Uh, mm. <laughs> it's called The Play That Almost Was and Then Wasn't, But Then Was. Mm. Very well. I don't know, Duchess. It is a bomb spell, but Ash and Hunter are my friends. If you don't report on it, someone 
else will. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> Ashlyn, <gasps> you and Hunter are, are dating? But, but you're a royal, and he's a rebel! Totally awkward, oh. A royal dating a rebel? That's just not how the tale is told. She followed her true heart, which is kind of what True Heart's Day is all about. So, fellow fairy tales, Blondie Locks here to give you reaction to the royally rebellious romance. I think it's excellent. <laughs> Ashlyn and Hunter decided to rewrite their destinies. What's wrong with that? Oh. <gasps> I feel for them. I mean, keeping secrets is hard. <laughs> a royal and a rebel? <laughs> They're from two different worlds. <laughs> I am trying to do an interview here. I'm worried about Ashlyn and Hunter. If they don't follow their destinies, their books could close forever. Remember our quiz tomorrow on tiara size and future neck problems? Apple, we have to talk. Ash, this is hard for me. Which is a first because I usually handle everything so very well. I know. I'm just so surprised you didn't trust me enough to tell me. I didn't think you'd understand. I guess I don't. It just doesn't make sense to me. I don't want to see anything bad happen to someone I care so much about. And so you're telling me all these heart-shaped cakes are for your play. Yep. For the play. You know it. They're there for that really funny scene where uh, Briar throws them at Hopper. Excuse me? Oh, yeah. It's such a funny scene. I just wind up and... <laughs> Very well. What do you want? What do I want? My own happily ever after, of course. And now that everyone knows that you're dating a rebel... It looks like there's one available. No glass slipper for you. <laughs> so you're happy about Hunter and I dating while my best friends aren't? Maybe I did make a mistake. What? No! You're totally doing the right thing. Follow your heart and all that sappy stuff. Sorry, I'm saving this for Ashlyn. Hey, Ashlyn! Ahem. <clears throat> Hunter, we need to talk. Uh, Ashlyn? I just... I thought this would be a good thing, showing everyone we were dating. I thought it would take the pressure off, but now everything is worse. What are you saying? My friends are upset. I don't know what's going to happen to our stories. Yeah, but... Hunter, I don't want anything bad to happen to us. To you. I think... I think we should break up. Everything was set in stone But now you're feeling like a different